What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be installing some new recovery gear on my GTJ. So right now I'm running just uh, all the regular stock attachments for my Smitty built 9500 pound winch. It's got a steel cable and then the four way roller and a regular hook. Now this setup is fine for beginners and I am a beginner, but I'm building my Jeep to do it right the first time basically. I've used this winch a total of one time in our recent trip to Badlands Off Road Park last month. I'll link that video right up here. And it worked fine, there was no issues, but this is not the most safe setup. And I definitely want something that's going to last a lot longer because the hook is starting to rust, the rollers aren't very smooth, and the steel cable is also starting to rust in some spots as well. So that's where this new recovery gear comes into play. I picked up a factory. 55 flat link in red because the standard hook if that snaps it can shatter and then debris will just fly everywhere and that could be very harmful to someone whereas this accepts soft shackles which the standard hook does not so this is a great alternative to a winch hook plus it looks pretty cool too and you could get different colors and all that they are pretty pricey this one was about $150 I believe but in my opinion it is worth it so that's the flat link we're gonna be installing today and then I also picked up a synthetic winch line off of Amazon, just got a cheap winch line because I wasn't gonna spend some $600 on a really high quality winch line because if a synthetic line is gonna snap, it's already a lot safer because it doesn't hold that energy like a steel cable does, so it's just gonna fall right to the ground. So even if you get a cheap winch line that is synthetic, it's gonna be as safe as an expensive winch line that is also synthetic when it snaps. So that's why I got a cheap brand for that, and then this one also has this little cover on, and the end of it is red to let you know when you are getting to the end of the cable. I believe this was a 3 8 by 100 foot. Right now on my winch I have a 5 16 by 94 foot. So it's a little bit of a different size. I'm definitely going to get a lot more length out of it. So this should be a great winch line. And then it does come with a hook and a clevis. I obviously won't be needing them but I will save them for later use if I ever do need them. And then I also picked up the Factor 55 Haas Fairlead. You can get them in a 1 or a 1 and a half inch width. I got the 1 inch just because I like the minimalist look. So the differences between this fair lead and the four-way roller is that this one is going to let the synthetic line slide a lot better and it just overall is a much cleaner look in my opinion. And if you do pick up this fair lead, you do have to run a synthetic winch line. You cannot run the steel cable because it'll just tear it up so bad. I mean after one use you can see my rollers are a little bit scuffed up right there. So it definitely takes a toll on it and I could definitely see it taking a toll on the fair lead. So you definitely have to run a synthetic winch line with this fair lead. Now from my knowledge you don't have to run a synthetic winch line with the flat link. I'm pretty sure that'll just hook up to anything but I wanted to get a whole kit so then my winching system is a lot safer. So now let's take off the old steel cable and to do that we're just gonna put the winch in free spool so I can just pull it right out. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen. Alright, that's way too much work to do that for 94 feet. So I'm just gonna turn on the Jeep and uh, use the controller. I think that'll be a lot less work. I'm trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch him take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. All right, so now that we got it all unspooled, the old one is held on with a little Phillips screw, if you can see it in there. So I just gotta undo that, and then we can pull the old winch line out. All right, now that that screw is out, let's set that off to the side and pull out the old winch line. All right, so with this new winch line, it does attach a little bit differently than the old one. If we compare it to the old one, you can see it's definitely a lot thicker, so I'm gonna need a thicker screw for sure. And it looks like it's about the same diameter, so should have no issues there. So now I just gotta look around for a new screw. All right, so I just found a screw that works. It's actually the first screw I grabbed, so how lucky was that? And now we just gotta put it in the hole right here. Make sure it goes in straight. Looks like we're solid. That yeah, should be good. Now that we have that on, I think we can start spooling it up now. 
All right, so I messed up bad. I spooled it up the wrong way at first, so then I had to take it all out again. But it's in now, it looks really good. This is pretty much the longest line that you can run in this winch. I mean, you can see it's to the top right there. So there's just no gap. And you gotta be careful because it was actually hitting these little notches right here and right here. But definitely in the future, I'm gonna hook my Jeep up to like my dad's truck or something just so it can get a really tight spool on it and it should be a lot more compact in the barrel of the winch itself. So now we're gonna take off the fair lead and install the new Factor 55 Haas fair lead. All right, so now we need to take off the two bolts for the fair lead. I already loosen them up off camera so this should be pretty easy all right so i got the old fair lead off and compared to the new one the new fair lead is just so much lighter than the old one this one's probably weighs i don't know of seven to ten pounds it actually maybe more around ten pounds this one is definitely under five for sure probably even under two pounds and as you can see this one's already rusting on the bottom there hasn't even been on for more than a year and it's been used once so that's definitely not good and we're definitely getting what we pay for now this one i don't think it will rust because it is aluminum so let's just slide the winch line through and the holes line up perfect so now we just got to bolt it up all right so we're coming into a few issues when we're trying to bolt up the new fair lead to the winch plate first issue is that these bolts are too short they don't even come close to sticking out past the winch plate to get the nut on the back right here and second issue is that you can't even really get a socket in there to tighten down the bolt these bolts are a three quarter inch socket and that's just doesn't fit in there as you can see. Uh, next size down would be an 11 16 That fits in there perfect. So I'm gonna need a new bolt as well as some new lock washers and some nuts. So I'll put you guys back on when I get those. All right, so I kind of jerry-rigged it. I found long enough bolts that were actually a little bit too long. So I put three lock washers on this end and then I was able to fit the nut on the back right there without touching the winch, which was my issue before. So it actually doesn't look that bad. That stick out a little bit. I might paint them black in the future just so that they're not so much of an eyesore. So now we're gonna work on putting the flat link on the end of the winch line. So to install the flat link, what we have to do is remove the snap ring on the inside so we can pull the center pin out and then slide the line in place and then put the pin back in and then the snap ring back on. My city, cause we beat the streets, trying to spread the wealth around the block. No, I can't keep from me. Told me I should leave. I see the bigger picture, and it's way bigger than me. Can't be living like a kid, but my people need to eat. If I got it, then you got it. We gon' get back on our feet, and I put it on me. I don't wanna live like fast. Die too young, die too young. Hurting my problem. All right, guys, so everything is in. As you can see, it looks fantastic. And something that I didn't really think about when I wanted to do this is how much weight I would save. I mean, just the difference between the synthetic winch line and the old one. I mean, this is probably, I don't know, 30, 40 pounds. That one is probably around 20, I would guess. So we saved a good amount of weight with swapping out all these old parts. So the only thing I'm gonna change about this in the future is definitely painting these bolt heads black, which I had to do anyways with this bolt right here. So that is pretty much all for this video. I got a lot of cool plants for my Jeep. I got a few boxes right over here. Take guesses down below on what you think is in those boxes. We got one box there, one there, one there, one right here, and another little one right down there. Actually two little ones. I forgot about that one. We got six boxes total. So what do you think is in those boxes? It's definitely the biggest purchase I've made for the Jeep and I'm super stoked to get those on as soon as possible. Just need to find time to install them. So that's it for this video, guys. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you learned something, share it with others so I can grow my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, so as I'm cleaning up, I was just going through the empty boxes over here, making sure I didn't miss anything, and I found this little sheet in the flat link box, and it says certificate of testing. They test them before they ship them out to customers. As you can see, mine, its peak load was 47 thousand pounds that's insane on the box it's rated at 
I think it said like 16,000. Yeah, right here. Max load, 16,000 pounds. But the fact that it could do that for a short amount of time, that's insane for that little tiny part. That really goes to show you get what you pay for. That thing's like $150. So I'm definitely happy I picked that thing up. And then the winch line on Amazon, it was rated at like 23,000, I believe. So I should have no issues with it. I wanted to get one that was rated for a lot more than I needed because it's from a cheaper brand and I didn't know the backstory behind the company. So I should not have any issues with that winch line. And if I have any issues with anything in this video that I installed today, I will be sure to let you guys know. So now it's really the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. But here I come, push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home.